One of the many quotes attributed to Mark Twain is that history does not necessarily repeat itself, but it certainly does rhyme. At a time when the government is interfering more than ever before in the lives of its citizens, it's worth looking back to the 1960s, when Harold Wilson's Labour government established the National Board for Prices and Incomes to try and tackle inflation with government-mandated wages and prices. It did not go well. The unusual three topics they started with were the prices of soap, bread, and road haulage. The Road Haulage Association mounted a robust defense of their pricing, while the Transport and General Workers Union was one of the Labour Party's biggest funders, and they made their views on wage control extremely clear. The government originally wanted a voluntary policy, but when this was rejected, they tried to impose price and wage controls by law, only to run into even stiffer union opposition. Eventually, the organisation disappeared when Labour lost the 1970 election, though Ted Heath did create his own Price Commission and Wages Board, which were equally unpopular. One of the leaders of the first Prices and Incomes Board was the academic Hugh Clegg, who eventually wrote a book about it called How to Run an Incomes Policy and Why We Made Such a Mess of the Last One. When will the politicians learn? that central control is the enemy of innovation and growth. They should practice masterly inactivity and simply get out of the way.